वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम एट पॉइंट फोर टू सो अ थर्टीन किलो न्यूटन फोर्स इज अप्लाइड एज शोन टू सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर डायमीटर कास्ट आयरन पोस्ट ए बी डी एट पॉइंट एच डिटरमाइन द प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस इज एन प्रिंसिपल प्लेन एंड इन बी पॉट मैक्सिमम शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस सो यू कैन सी दिस इज ए बी डी पोस्ट एंड देर इज अ थर्टी किलो न्यूटन फोर्स इज अप्लाइड एट पॉइंट डी सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस एट पॉइंट एच एंड द मैक्सिमम शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस सो गिवन डेटा इज फोर्स इज थर्टीन किलो न्यूटन डायमीटर ऑफ दिस पोस्ट इज सिक्सटी मिलीमीटर सो प्रिंसिपल टू फाइंड इज प्रिंसिपल स्ट्रेस इज एंड प्रिंसिपल प्लेन एंड मैक्सिमम शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट यू कैन सी दैट दिस थर्टी किलो थर्टीन किलो न्यूटन फोर्स इज अप्लाइड एट पॉइंट डी also note that the vertical axis is y axis this axis is x axis and this is z axis now you can see this 30 13 kN load is in this direction which is in de direction so it will have two component one is along y axis and let this component is uh, fy and the other one is along z axis that is f z and there is no x component so it will be zero so what we have to do is the first step is to find this length we know that length d this height from d to this point this height of fy this is equal to 300 mm and this length is 125 mm so by using pythagoras theorem by pythagoras theorem theorem pythagoras theorem we know that this de will be equal to under the root base which is 125 so 125 square plus this height which is 300 square so from here you will get this length de so this de comes out to be 325 mm why we are going to find this so i will show you in a while now you can see this f Com this is the f force thirteen kilometer thirteen uh, kilo newton so it will have two component f y and f z so let it makes an angle of theta with this vertical axis so if we take sine of theta so sine of theta will be equal to one twenty five divided by three twenty five one twenty five over three twenty five and cos of theta is equal to uh this height which is 300 divided by 325 so 300 divided by 325 now we know that fy will be equal to f cos of theta clear so we will put the values fy is f cos of theta okay so f is 13 kilo newton and this uh, uh component this cos theta is 300 over to uh, 325 so 300 325 and so you can see the force is in negative direction of y or downward so it will be negative so fy comes out to be after calculating this fy will be equal to minus 12 kilo newton now we will calculate fz so fz is equal to f into sin of theta okay how you will know that fz is equal to f sin of theta so you can again take Uh, sine of theta is equal to 
this component which is fz so fz over hypotenuse which is f so fz will be equal to f sine of theta so put the value f is 13 and sine of theta is 125 by 325 and again this force you can see this is along the negative z direction so it will be also negative so fz after calculation will comes out to be minus 5 kilo newton now these are the forces so if uh, we have been asked to find the stresses principal stresses at point h so therefore we will cut this at point h and we will draw it over here let me draw it so let this is the uh, cylinder a rod okay so this is the remaining height this is your point h where you want to find it let this is the center and vertical axis is y in this direction the axis was given as z and horizontally it was given as x so what we have if we cut the section over here and represent all the forces and movement so you can see that uh, one fo if we transform this vertical force to there so i will show it by using another color let i represent the first force which is f y and that is this f y which is minus 12 kilo newton that is now due to this force f y definitely if you transform it over here so due to this force there will be a moment as well and this force into perpendicular distance is this 150 so it will cause to rotate it about z axis so the moment will be this one due to this we will write it the that there will be a moment about z axis and that moment will be clockwise so it will be 1.8 kilo newton into meter how because uh, you can see fy is uh, minus 12 and this perpendicular distance is 50 uh, 150 millimeters so 12 into 1 50 millimeter will give you certain value and if you convert it into meter it will be 1.8 kilo newton into meter the second force is uh, this along z direction you can see this is the second force so we will represent it at this point and let me represent it it is along z direction uh, it is along z negative z direction so it is this one this is fz now due to this fz i will show you if you want to bring it over here so this fz into perpendicular distance is again from here till this perpendicular distance is one point uh, 150 millimeter and it will cause it to rotate above y-axis and so uh, 5 into 115 millimeter will give you if you convert it into meter it will give you 0 0.75 0 0.75 kilo newton into meter now also this fz will cause it to rotate about because the perpendicular distance is also this so it will cause it to rotate about x axis and this will be minus this 5 into this perpendicular distance this 5 this is the force clear and this this is the force and perpendicular distance is uh, if you cut it over here so this is the perpendicular distance so total is 300 minus this 100 will give you 200 so fz into 200 
will be equal to uh, fz is 5 and 200 so it will be uh, after conversion it will be minus 1 kilonewton into meter why minus because it will be clockwise so we will represent it over here so there will be a moment about x axis that is minus 1 kilonewton into meter now all the values are represented over here so again if you are confused you can apply another method that is moment i will write it moment of equivalent force couple system at centroid of section containing edge point so we, we will write that is moment is equal to i j k i for x direction j is for y direction and k is in z direction so you can write 0 0.150 these are the perpendicular distance and in k it is 0 0 minus 12 into minus 5 i will show you in x direction there is no no force so x is 0 in y direction you can see 12 so it is minus 12 and in z direction this is minus 5 which is fz also uh, uh, here we have seen that this force and perpendicular distance which is moment producing about uh, x axis is 200 so uh, moment about x axis so perpendicular distance is in long y direction so it is 200 so you can check it and it will give you the same answer after simplifying it by applying uh, matrices uh, concept so you will get minus 1.00 i in i direction minus plus 0 0.75 j in j direction these are the unit vectors plus or minus sorry minus minus 1.8 k into newton meter now you can see one newton i have already that is clockwise 0 0.75 that is this one about y axis counterclockwise and minus 0 point one, uh, minus 1 1.8 which is this one with clockwise so they will give you the same answer we will move toward uh, further so we will use section properties y in order to get the movement uh, stress and shear forces so we know that uh, section properties so we know that given is diameter is 60 millimeter so definitely radius will be equal to half of d so 60 divided by 22 is equal to 30 millimeter or you can say it is equal to 0 0.030 meter and area of this circular is pi r square so pi r is c so pi c square so you can put the value and you will get 2.8274 into 10 to the power 3 square millimeter or in meter it is 2.8274 into 10 to the power uh, minus 3 square meter because uh, this meter if we want to uh, remove it so 10 to the power minus 3 whole square is 10 to the power minus 6 and plus 3 will be minus 3 also moment of inertia for this circular rod is pi by 4 c4 so you have the value of c you can put it and you will get this moment of inertia is 636.5 one seven into ten to the power minus three millimeter four or in meter it will be equal to six three six point one seven into ten to the power this is minus twelve this is plus three sorry 
सो माइनस ट्वेल्व प्लस थ्री इज माइनस नाइन सो माइनस नाइन मीटर पावर फोर ऑल्सो जे पोलर मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया फॉर दिस सर्कुलर रॉड इज इक्वल टू टू टाइम्स ऑफ मूवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया सो यू कैन पुट टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई सिक्स थ्री सिक्स पॉइंट वन सेवन इंटू टेन एस टू पावर थ्री मिलीमीटर फोर इट विल गिव यू वन पॉइंट टू सेवन टू थ्री इंटू टेन एस टू पावर सिक्स मिलीमीटर फोर और इन टर्म ऑफ मीटर इट विल बी इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट टू सेवन टू थ्री इंटू टेन एस टू पावर माइनस सिक्स मीटर फोर ओके नाउ वी विल फाइंड क्यू एज वेल बिकॉज वी विल यूज इट इन शेयर फोर्स इन कैलकुलेटिंग शेयर फोर्स सो क्यू इज इक्वल टू टू और थ्री सी क्यूब दैट इज फॉर सेमी सर्कल वाई आई विल शो यू इफ यू टेक द टॉप व्यू ऑफ दैट सो दिस वॉर यूअर सेंटर दिस इज पॉइंट एच क्लियर दिस इज सेंट्रॉयडल एक्सिस सो दिस हाफ विल बी क्यू विल बी इक्वल टू टू और थ्री सी क्यूब एंड इफ यू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ सी यू विल गेट दिस क्यू विल बी इक्वल टू एटीन इंटू टेन एस पावर थ्री मिलीमीटर क्यूब और इन मीटर इट विल बी इक्वल टू एटीन इंटू टेन एस पावर माइनस नाइन मीटर सॉरी टेन एस टू पावर माइनस नाइन दिस इज टेन एस टू पावर माइनस सिक्स मीटर क्यूबिक मीटर ओके नाउ विल मूव टू वर्ड आवर स्टेप्स फॉर फाइंडिंग द स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस सो एट पॉइंट एच एट पॉइंट एच यू हैव सिगमा एच विच इज इक्वल टू यू कैन सी एट दिस एट दिस यू हैव अ स्ट्रेस ऑफ एफ वाई एंड दिस एफ वाई इज अगेन ट्वेल्व न्यूटन माइनस ट्वेल्व न्यूटन सो ओवर दिस एरिया विच इज ए दिस इज द एरिया सो विल पुट दिस स्ट्रेस इज दिस लोड इज कंप्रेसिव सो माइनस पी डिवाइड बाई आर यू कैन सी दिस इज एफ वाई डिवाइड बाई एरिया प्लस माइनस m into c divided by i why because you can see that there is a bending uh, movement about z axis which is 1.8 and this is clockwise so it is minus mc over i now you can just put the value minus 12 over a is also given 2.8274 into 10 to the power minus 3 and this is 12 kilo newton so 10 to the power 3 minus movement is minus uh, movement is 1.8 kilo newton into meter so 1.8 into 10 to the power 3 c is 30 which is 0.030 meter divided by i i is this one 1. Point, uh, sorry not this this is j this is i Six thirty-six point one seven into ten to the power minus nine. So when you calculate it, you will get this sigma h is equal to minus eighty-nine point one three mega pascal. Okay. Now what about shear stress? So shear stress at point h is tau h. Is equal to T into C divided by J plus V into Q divided by I into T. Why this is the combination of two? Because one is due to shear force. I will show you. This F Z is acting on this face. Clear? This F Z is acting on this face, and on this face we have a moment. Our torque is zero point. सेवन फाइव न्यूटन सो द शेयर फोर्स ओवर दिस फेस इज ड्यू टू वन दिस लोड एफ जेड एन ड्यू टू दिस टॉर्क ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव सो वी विल कैलकुलेट इट 
so we we'll let put the value torque was 0 0.75 kilonewton so it will 10 to power 3 into c is again 0 0.030 divided by j is 1.2723 into 10 to power minus 6 plus v is fz fz is 5 kilonewton so 5 into 10 to power 3 Q is we have calculated Q Q is this one 18 into 10 to the power minus 6 divided by I and I is 636.17 into 10 to the power minus 9 and total thickness is again 0 point uh, total thickness is 60 millimeter because diameter is 60 so 0 0.600 so when you calculate it you will get the shear force is equal to 20.04 mega pascal now if you represent it on uh, element so definitely we have let's say we have this element clear so this is sigma h clear and this is sigma h that is compressive and the shear stress is this one this is tau of h now uh, for principal stress we know that sigma 1 comma 2 is equal to sigma average plus minus r what is sigma average so sigma average is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 so there is no stress in x direction clear we have only sigma h so it will be equal to sigma h over 2 okay so you can put the value sigma h is uh, let me check sigma h was minus 89.13 divided by 2 is equal to minus 44. Point 56 mega pascal and we know that r is equal to sigma average square sigma average square plus tau of xy square sorry not sigma average square sigma h minus there is no other uh, stress so it is 0 divided by 2 whole square so you can put the values so sigma h over 2 is this minus 44 so minus 44.56 whole square plus tau of x y x which is 20.04 whole square so when you calculate it you will get this r is equal to 48.63 mega pascal now your sigma 1 is equal to sigma average plus r so you can put the value sigma average is minus 44.56 plus r is 48.63 so from here you will get sigma h1 uh, which is equal to 4.3 mega pascal similarly sigma 2 is equal to sigma average minus r so minus 44.56 minus 48.6 Six three will be equal to minus ninety three point four mega pascal. We will also draw it on Mohr circle. So let let's draw it. Or we can also calculate principal plane. So principal plane tangent of two theta p is equal to tau of h divided by sigma h over two. So from here it will be two tau h over 0 0.4 uh, sorry sigma h so you can just put the value you will get tangent of 2 theta p is equal to 0 0.4497 that is me that will be minus so your theta p 1 will be equal to minus 12.1 degree this 2 uh, actually you will get 
2 theta p from here so 2 theta p is equal to uh, 20 24.2 degree minus and in theta p1 is minus 12.1 degree or theta p2 is equal to minus 180 minus 12 point uh, not minus 1.80 uh, minus 90 so it will be equal to 10 102.1 degree i will now i will draw them on mohar circle so you will get the full answer of this question so this was your this is your sigma h this was your tau of x h clear so let this is your this axis is your stresses and this vertical axis is your shear stresses okay this is your point zero so we have first pair is sigma h comma tau of uh, sorry first here you can see there sigma y is sigma h see there is no sig sigma x so zero comma tau h and the other point will be sigma h comma tau of h so tau of h this is zero comma tau of h is equal to 20.04 and sigma h is minus 89.13 comma 20.04 so we will first look at this two point so 0 comma 24 so let each point is of five division so one two three four so let this is your first point clear the here you will have 0 comma 20.04 and the next point was minus 89 so again you have to go this is your 1 2 3 4 minus 20.04 and 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 89 so it will be somewhat here and this if you look at this is your point which is minus 89.13 comma minus 20.04 now if you join these two lines these two points so you will get a straight line and keeping this as center c there you have to draw a circle so let me draw it let if you draw a circle containing these two points so you have to draw it by using uh, proper way let this is the circle assume that this is the circle now you can see this is your x point this is your y point and these are your these stresses stresses this is your sigma 2 principal stresses this is your sigma 1 now theta p1 is this this is your 2 theta p1 or 2 theta p you can see so 2 theta p is equal to this your this value is 2 theta p which comes out to be minus 24.1 or 2 theta p 2 is this whole 180 minus in clockwise minus 180 and this 2 theta p or if uh, in term of uh, in Mohr circle you take 2 times theta p but in real if you want to represent it on state of elements so minus this is your x this is your y so your new axis will be this is x this is y your new axis will be x dash and it will be your new axis, axis y dash and if you want to represent them on this element so this will be your uh, stress will be your in this direction sigma 2 which is 
let me check it sigma 1 is positive so this is the here it you will give you sigma 2 this is your sigma 2 and this will be your sigma 1 and shear stress will be uh, shear stress will be uh, there will be no shear stress at this so this angle will be equal to theta p1 which is equal to minus 12.1 now in part b you have been asked to find the maximum shear stress so maximum shear stress so from here if you draw it properly so you will find the uh, maximum shear stress is equal to r and this r is equal to 48.863 mega pascal which you have already calculated over here this is r so i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video and again if you have any question you can ask me in comment section and if you are new to my channel then subscribe it now so that uh, you can get my latest videos thank you for watching